Hi guys, Chris Rollins here from Allwood Audubon and today we're going to talk about this stuff all over this Canada Goldenrod. If you're ever out in a meadow or a prairie and you see this little white stuff, somebody didn't hock a loogie. No, this is actually created by a little nymph, a little critter called a spittle bug. It's in the true bug family and it sucks the juice out of this goldenrod and it percolates it out of its bum and four little finger like appendages whip up the froth and they live in their own bum juice. How cool is that? I'm going to get them out and I'm going to show them to you here. We're going to do a song about spittle bugs. Don't go away. All right, let's get this little guy inside of this. Now it creates this and I'm going to show you the little nymph. Once I find him. There it is. It's actually on the plant right now and I'm going to bring it out real gently. Whenever you take a little critter you want to be really gentle. Here it is. There we are. So if you look on the tip of my fingernail is a little nymph and it's in the true bug family. It is called a spittle bug and what this little nymph does and the nymph is the the young stage it will suck the juice out of the plant and it as it sucks the juice out, the, it will basically percolate that juice. It goes out of its back, its abdomen, and back here, its abdomen, its backside has four little finger-like appendages. And as the juice comes out of it, those four finger-like appendages whip up all that juice into a froth that it creates, and it lives in its own bum juice. I got my old guy glasses on, can you tell? It lives in its own bum juice! How cool is that? Wow! And, and that juice, it provides a number of things. It keeps it cool. It also is supposed to be nasty tasting. I have never tasted it before. But uh, it's supposed to be nasty tasting to other animals. And, you know, it helps camouflage. It keeps it safe. So there's many reasons it does it. But as it becomes an adult, it crawls out of that stuff and it mates with another, um, another spittle bug and it starts all over again. But we're going to look at him real close. There, hopefully, this is in view or in focus. And you can see this little guy, and like I said, it's a true insect, or a true bug. True bugs suck the juice out of things, and uh, there he is. <laughs> If you're walking through a field and just by chance you see a goobery looking thing on a plant Inside that goobery looking stuff is an odd little critter called a spittle bug It's an amateur bug called a nymph that makes goobery spittle on the plant They pierce the plant, suck their sweet sap up with their needle like mouth part spittle bug Spittle bug, spittle bug, sucking up plant juice that you love them Percolating it from their bum as it comes out you froth it some Spittle bug, spittle bug Critter that spittle bug hanging out in that frothy foam that you call home sweet home. Well, they move their abdomen up and down, working that liquid outward bound. Little finger like appendages on the tip of their abdomen start the process of whipping air bubbles into the broth, transforming it into a foamy froth. A plant sap watery waste and air bubbling out from their dairy air. Spittle bug, spittle bug, sucking up plant juice that you love them, percolating it from their bum. As it comes out, you froth it some. Spittle bug, spittle bug, odd little critter that spittle bug, hanging out in that frothy foam that you call home sweet home. thermal control, insulating the nymph from the heat and cold, and keeps a little critter from drying out too, also hides the little spittle bug from view, but when they mature into an adult, and leave their home of foamy froth, they find their mate, lay their eggs, and then the cycle starts over again. Spittle bug, spittle bug, sucking up plant juice that you love, and percolating it from 
from their bum. As it comes out, you froth it some. Spittlebug, spittlebug, a ah, little critter that spittlebug. Hanging out in that frothy foam that you call home sweet home. Spittlebug, spittlebug, sucking up plant juice that you love them. Percolating it from their bum. As it comes out, you froth it some. Spittlebug, spittlebug, a ah, little critter that spittlebug. Hanging out in that frothy foam that you call home sweet home. Hanging out in that frothy foam that you call home sweet home. Hanging out in that frothy foam that you call home sweet home. Well, I hope you guys had a great time learning about spittle bugs. And remember, jump into nature, have a great time in the outdoors. And if you have an animal or a plant that you'd like me to try and write a song about, I'll give it a shot. And if I can't, can't promise anything, but if I can, I'll write it and I'll put it on our, our site and we'll see what happens. All right, so don't forget, jump into nature, have a great time guys and don't forget to visit us at Allwood Audubon all right and look for spittlebugs oh yeah <laughs>